Let's see, let's see. I know what I want to smoke. And it is right here. I'm excited about this. You might, uh, you might be surprised, you might not be, but it takes a lot of prep time to get ready for a cigar review. You gotta make the coffee, you just saw that. You gotta pick the cigar. You gotta make sure the background's right. You gotta bring out your, your phone. Had to just get ready and we got some really like super Hollywood lighting. If I was a villain, I would be showing the camera over here so you get the dark side. But uh, we're gonna smoke a cigar today that I have been looking forward to doing a cigar review of. When I smoked the Maduro, I was very pleasantly surprised and it became one of my favorite cigars. I didn't really do a, a favorite cigars of 2023. I probably should have. But uh, after we had that one in the Adventure Club, I decided that I wanted to offer the Habano and the Connecticut version. And today we're doing the Connecticut version. Yep, Short Churchill, Connecticut. I think I'm gonna, re I hope I really enjoy this. I got my coffee here to pair it with, and I'm ready to get started. Hey guys, I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. So you can call up your local lounge or just head right over to the store that I own. We started it about two years ago at Cigar Score Lounge, but you can call them up and see if they have the Espinosa Knuckle Sandwich Connecticut. And like I said, we did the review of the Maduro six or seven months ago ish and i really enjoyed that cigar so we got the habano we got the connecticut and um, that's one of the cool things that i like about doing our own monthly subscription club is i get to curate a list of things that i'm interested in and that i think will give people a certain experience so that they if they get the cigars that i want them to get or you know it's they choose what they want but they uh they can really taste some interesting things so uh, let me give you a close-up of this cigar and then we are going to get it cut and lit okay so so I can barely see the screen, so hopefully everything is in focus, but you have the Espinosa knuckle sandwich in that skull with the chef's hat. Hopefully you can see that at all. Let me see if I can do anything to help this out. I Hopefully you can see this. Let's get out of the cellophane first. It says Shore Church Show, Connecticut, six and a half by 48. Got the gold ribbon down here at the bottom. But this is a blend that was done by Eric Espinoza and Guy Fieri, which is probably why we have the skull with the chef's hat on. That's probably Guy Fieri. It looks like there's a star behind it. I don't know what that's about. Espinoza, gold, red, black, and white. And again, the, the gold down here at the bottom for the Connecticut broadleaf. Hopefully you saw that. So in case the sun was just at the wrong angle and you couldn't see that, um, this looks like a really great cigar. There is kind of a green spot here on this leaf. I think those are water spots. I'm not really sure, but let's get this thing cut. And let's take this foot band off here. And um, just smelling it, it smells uh, just leafy, dry leaves. Nothing, nothing good or bad. The cold draw is fine. Very leafy. I don't know. Let's put it to the torch. Gotta start the timer here. And let's put it to the torch and see what happens. First impressions, not bad. It's light, it's leafy. It's not terribly citrusy, but that is okay with me. I'm not getting notes of caramel or vanilla or anything like that. Let's see how it pairs with coffee. It's okay. It's very mild. It's uh, very light in flavor and mild. So uh, I don't know how this is going to go. I love a Drew Estate Undercrown Shade. I love the Sober Mesa Brulee. They're uh, just, uh, what was the Hooten Young Overlord? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of really fantastic cigars to pair with coffee. You can find my top faves over at cigarscore.com slash breakfast cigars. I don't know if this one's going to make that list. Okay, a little bit of flavor change. The first, 
The first few flavors were just kind of eh, whatever. We're getting more flavor now. And I think the Maduro was the same way. I wasn't overly impressed with my first impressions. The first few puffs on that were all right. And then it really came into its own. So maybe we're going to have a similar experience. And if that is the case, man, I'm really looking forward to trying the Habano. Make sure you like this video and are subscribed to our channel, whether you are here on Rumble, on CigarScore.com and our cigar reviews, or if YouTube has yet to ban this video, hell, subscribe on YouTube too. But, um, Stay, stay subscribed because I'm very much, I think, going to be looking forward to the Habano if we have that super interesting flavor change after the first couple of minutes on this one like we did on the Maduro. Maybe the Habano will be the same. Let's pull up the internet and let's learn about this Espinosa Knuckle Sandwich Connecticut Short Church Hill together. Okay, as we get just a few minutes into this cigar, uh, the flavors are changing in a great way. So... I talked about this in another video, and I don't know if, I think I lost the audio on that one, so I, I'll say it again. I'd hate to tell you to spend your money on a cigar and then give it like 20 or 30 minutes to evaluate if you like that cigar, because that seems like both time and money wasted. And those are very precious things in today's world. But if you, if you take a puff on a cigar and you don't immediately love it, give it a few minutes because this one, it wasn't super impressive for the first three minutes, but now it's quite enjoyable. There are more flavors. They are different flavors. They are better flavors than they were at the very beginning. So let's take care of that and let's see what we have here. We have an Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper and we have a blend of tobaccos binders and fillers from nicaragua apparently these are made at aj fernandez's factory i don't know if the other ones are the short churchill they're all boxes of 20 it looks like and that's about 260 the singles are about 13 or 14 dollars i'll have it right on the on the card here and these came out apparently about january 2023 and as of right now i got to get these up on our website because they're not there and I need to update the inventory on that because we have some and uh, I'm looking forward to to sharing this one. I probably should slow down on this because I'm getting a little bit of a cone, but let's see. Let's see how this pairs. It's pleasant. I don't know if it's the, the best pairing. It's not it's not the worst pairing of a Connecticut leaf cigar with a lighter cigar like this with coffee. But um, yeah, the cigar by itself is very delicious. The coffee by itself is very delicious. Maybe not the best pairing. Maybe uh, I sure, I'm sure that Guy Fieri, being a chef, thought through the, the pairing part of it, but maybe he paired it with something else. I don't know. Stick around, I'll let you know how it's going. We do have a fairly uneven burn right here, but you can kind of see like a little bit of a hollow spot on the same side that the uneven burn, we're, we're developing a canoe, and that is disappointing. Let me give it a couple puffs, see if it gets worse or if it gets better. It's getting worse, so that might uh, impact the score here. Let me even it up. Torch it on the, the side that's not burning as fast. So I'll, I'll be right back and I'll let you know how it's going. But so far, other than this, this construction issue, I'm very much enjoying this Espinosa Knuckle Sandwich Connecticut. Stick around, I'll let you know how it's going. All right, we're about 27 minutes <clears throat> into this cigar. And after I retouched the, I think there was a, a slight hollow spot there at the very beginning. It looked like the gold band might have been covering a blemish. But once I retouch that, we have almost a razor sharp burn. The flavors are very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. And I will tell you, I hope I get this review out so that the Adventure Club members can, can pull it up and see what I had to say about it. But I'm very much looking forward to sharing this with the members of the Adventure Club. It's $49.99 right now, plus tax if you're in Texas. 
free shipping. You get five cigars every month. You can check them out over at cigarscore.com slash adventure club. It should take you right there. You can use the coupon code EKS10, like uh, Espinosa Knuckle Sandwich 10, EKS10 to get 10% off of your first month and try that because I'm very much looking forward to sharing this with the members of the Adventure Club. I am very much enjoying it. The ash is light and flaky. I have no idea what that means. Uh, white ash generally doesn't mean anything. It's just a byproduct of the minerals that are in the soil where the tobacco plant is grown. But I'm really enjoying the flavors. Let's take this label off while I got you here. I think maybe because of how fast and weird it burned in the first third, I might be shaving off a couple of minutes on this short Churchill, what I say, six and a half by 46. Uh, and that is a great Vitola that I have really come to enjoy. A slightly less than 50 ring gauge. You get that extra flavor of the wrapper present in the cigars. Um, yeah, I just wanted to pop in, let you know. Very much enjoying it. I'll be right back with my final thoughts on the Espinosa Knuckle Sandwich, Connecticut. All right, we're coming in at just about an hour. Uh, 60, 61 minutes or so on this Espinosa Knuckle Sandwich, Connecticut, Short Churchill. And it is about to burn my fingers. And I really enjoyed this cigar, except for that first few minutes where we had the uneven burn. It actually kind of hurts me to give this a cigar score of four because the rest of the cigar was absolutely fantastic. I really, really enjoyed this one. I think Espinosa. I haven't really loved a lot of his other cigars. I think he did the 601. I think those are all his. If I'm not, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm not looking at it. But I think Eric Espinosa really did a great job with this cigar. I don't know how much of an influence Guy Fieri had on this blend. I don't know if they were like lockstep moving forward, choosing every leaf and all that or, or whatever. But I think this knuckle sandwich, guys, it's one that you gotta try. It really is. The Maduro was good. I hope the Habano is good. The Connecticut was good. Just that first few minutes where I think there was just a, a, an issue with a hollow spot that caused the canoe and I had to retouch it. That's the only thing keeping this from a Cigar Score 5. Very enjoyable, great flavors. Now I won't, I won't tell you that it, it makes the coffee better Maybe it's just these, you know, I've been drinking the Pinion Coffee. I'll put a link to my favorite coffee if you want to check this out. I've been drinking it ever since I found it. I've had coffee from all over the world, all over the country, all of the best in the regions that we've traveled, and this is the one that I, I we buy pounds of it at a time. And I don't know that it makes the coffee better, and I don't know that this coffee makes the cigar better, and that's really what what makes these breakfast cigars a home run for me, but that doesn't detract from the cigar. So I, re I enjoyed this cigar. I think you should try one of these. They're not terribly expensive, but they're not really budget options either. So, you know, what did I say? This one was like $13, $14, $12, something like that. I think it's worth it. Uh, I wish it had smoked a little bit longer, but that might, again, I think contributed the, the burn issues and having to retouch that accelerated the burn time. So we might've been able to pull out, I don't know, eight or nine, maybe 10 more minutes. But even for a one hour smoke time, this is a great cigar. I think you should try it. I think you should sign up for the Adventure Club so that you can get one in your box. A cigar score of five for the Espinosa Knuckle Sandwich, Connecticut. And this was the short Churchill. Thanks for watching. I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. I hope you have an amazing day. And as always, happy smoking.